One of the great things about Excel is Excel slicers. That's a way of quickly filtering your data that's in tables. But unfortunately, Google Sheets doesn't have that. So this is an add-on to try and bring some of the functionality of Excel slicers to Google Apps Script, and I've called it Dicers. If you're not familiar with slicers, this is Excel, and these are slicers. So you can filter data just by clicking on it. You can multiply select things and so on. So those are sli slicers, they're very handy. So here's the same data in Google Sheets. Google Sheets doesn't have tables like Excel does, and of course it doesn't have slicers. So we're gonna use the Dicers add-on, and it'll create something that looks quite a lot like what we saw in Excel. So just like Excel, we can click things and make a selection. We can click multiple things. We can sort the data, make it easier to select. We can bring a different slicer to the front. So you can see all the time what's happening over here is that the columns that don't meet the criteria are being filtered out, or at least hidden in the main sheet. Let's clear the, the filters on that and get all the data back again. So we can add more. So you can see the ones that are ticked that exist at the moment. I can, I want them all, all the columns. And every column that exists can be a slicer. So these are all the values that we're seeing there. If I change the data, let's get rid of some of this stuff. And all that gets immediately reflected in the contents of the slicer. So you can see the empty columns are marked there. So I can go like this and just show the empty columns. Put some numbers back in there again. When I'm finished with a slicer, I can just put it in the bin. I can move these things about, change the size and everything else just like you can in Excel. Now when I insert a new sheet, when I, in fact when I move sheets, it automatically detects that I'm not in that sheet anymore and it reevaluates what's there and presents some slicers, if, some dicers if there are any, if it can, if there's some data. In this case the sheet is empty, so if I'm just playing around I can ask it to just make some test data when there's some test data for me to use and it's gone ahead and generated some slices for me to play with there too. And again, just like Excel, I can mouse over things and see, get some tool tips, either about the labels themselves or the function of these icons over here. And if you use my other add-ons, you'll be familiar with this layout. We've got settings. These are things that can be set to do with the appearance of the dice. So let's look at the kind of things we can do. So the first is we can sort the data as it's loaded. By default, if we don't tick that when it's loaded, it'll present the contents of the dicers in the order of the data. You'll notice that when we created the sheet in the first place, it automatically created two dicers from the first two columns. We can change that to some different value if we like. And this stagger thing is to do with the presentation of the dicers in the available space in the sidebar. There's not a tremendous amount of space, so it tries to lay them out so that you can get access to everything without having to bring them to the front or move them, although obviously you can. So when I add another one inside the volume, you can see that it staggers that a little bit further. So this stagger setting is all about changing how it lays out the dicers when it first plots them, and we can change the initial size of them. You can also, if you really want to, change all the colors. So what that means is if you don't like the color that's shown for the ready color here, which is this kind of blue thing, we could, if we really wanted to, change it to some other thing. Let's make it red. And now when we go there, you can see all these are red. Not very nice, but if you want to do that, then you can. Let's reset that. So this save and reset stuff, if we want to, we can save any settings that we've changed to be used in all documents that we use with this add-on. Or we can save it just to be used in this particular document. So when it starts up, it checks to see if you've saved anything. And if it does, it uses them in preference to the default settings. And you can get rid of those if you if you want to. And then reset means that you've changed some stuff, but you want to reset back to either how it was at the beginning, what the standard defaults are, what the saved settings were, and the document settings. Of course, we don't have any of those. And then finally, we've got the about. So this just tells you some information about how this works and where to get some more help on it. And that's all there is to it. Dicers for sheets, like slicers for Excel. So you can, of course, get Dicers on the Google Sheets Chrome Store, and you'll find more information about the how it works at this URL here. And if you want to read about more stuff like this and how things like this are built, you can take a look at my book or my video, and in the next month or so, there'll be another 
video course out. So I hope you enjoy the add-on. You'll find in the About section of the add-on, there's a, a link to a form that you can provide some feedback with. And you can also provide some, some recommendations for how you would like to see this further developed. Enjoy!